Hi YouTube family, welcome to today's video, which is going to be another installment in Cheaper But Better. I wanted to do a dedicated video specifically for one product that I have in here because you guys had asked me about it, about it so much, which I'm going to leave till the end. But I had found so many. I'm always looking for that now. What do I reach for from the drugstore that I have the equivalent to in high-end makeup, but I like the drugstore better, not just because it's cheaper, and, which is a big, huge incentive for me, but also because I just think that it performs better. So I've got quite a few of those for you today. I hope that they will be helpful to you. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy dupe videos, I enjoy bringing them to you. So let's get on with it. The very first thing that I wanna tell you about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Glosses. This has been some of my very favorite lip formulas ever because not only are they a super nice feeling, super nice consistency, which is a little bit thicker without being heavy, I just have liked how opaque they are. They're just one of those um, lip glosses that you can put on like a lipstick, but you have this shine, but it's gonna last and they're just beautiful colors. Now you guys, the new Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Glosses, these are basically the same thing. Now, these are not gonna be the exact colors. This one is probably the closest color that there is. And I'm not gonna be referring too much to too many colors in this video, but I will throw them up on the screen. But the way that these perform, as far as it being that opaqueness, they're so beautiful in their colors. I do have a mixture of the, these two colors right here on my lips today, and I just love it. So I would say that they absolutely rival that these are five dollars i believe the anastasia ones are 16 but they shine so pretty and they're so opaque and i am just absolutely in love with them so that was my first discovery this week i think you guys are just gonna love those my my next discovery i was super excited about okay I've told you guys over and over again how much I love the Marc Jacobs highliners, and I do. This is a really great gel formula. They're so pretty. And my very favorite color in his whole entire line is called Jazzberry. And it's partly because it's in between like a purple and a mauve color. I just think it's one of those colors that is just absolutely gorgeous. Well, I ran across this one from L'Oreal and it's just called Red. But when I put it on here, it doesn't look like it's red. It does have a little bit more of the reddish tone to it than Jazzberry does. Jazzberry has more of the mauve tone to it. But when I get them on my eyes, they are so close, you guys. But the formula is so much the same. Now, those two will sit down. The, the Marc Jacobs gels will sit down and they are waterproof and they are wonderful. And this one does the same thing. I just really like it's it. called the Infallible Pro Last Longwear IP pencil. This one you do have to sharpen manually and the Marc Jacobs is an automatic. So that is kind of a difference there. It never bothers me to sharpen mine. So that's not a drawback for me, but it might be for some people, but I have been enjoying trying several different ones. Okay. One of my favorite Clinique cheek pops is called Pansy Pop. And it is just kind of a it looks almost like a lilac purple color. When you get it on your cheeks, it doesn't look like that. And especially if you're doing more of a lilac, uh, lavender look, it can be one of the most pretty blushes on. And I'm gonna have to darken it up because it's pretty light. So it's one of those colors that you have to be in the right mood to use, but I, I love it. It's one of those that I just, I've reached for over and over again. And but recently I found this one. I think I showed this in a haul to you guys from the Butter Blush from a Physician's Formula. And this one is called Rosy Pink. And what's so funny about it is that it's not really a rosy pink. It's really definitely along the lines of this color of this Pansy Pop. And when I saw them, I was like, okay, well, they don't look exactly alike in the pan, but boy, on the cheeks when they're sheared out and what they give to you is so much the same. Now I will say that I believe the Butter Blush to be a better blush. It's more saturated, it's a softer blush, and for me it's easier to blend. I do love my Clinique Cheek Pops. They're some of my very favorites. I have a few of them. But I would say that I, if I had the chance to, I would purchase this one over this one. Plus you get that yummy island coconut smell with this one. You don't get it with the Cheek Pop. But, but that's not the reason that I brought it to you guys' attention. It just really is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush, and I like it better, and I reach for 
for it more. Okay, one of my favorite pressed powders is the IT CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And I think I have mine in light. Yes, it's in light. And I really like this, you guys. It just sets my makeup down with a little bit of creaminess that most loose powders don't give you. And I do have the problem with my skin being dry. So it's nice to have a powder that's a little bit more on the creamy side. But I think that I like the Flower Illusion Powder better. Not only does it have that same creaminess to it, I think it's even more creamy when I stick my finger in here. Not only does it have the creaminess to it, but it also gives a little bit of luminosity to the skin that the IT one doesn't. I have this in another color too for my um, summer color, but I thought I'd bring my spring color out. So what I wanted to show you is not necessarily the color, just that, I, even though I have absolutely loved the IT CC powder, I love the Flower Illusion powder better. For me, it just surpasses it. It's just so much better. And I reach for it because of its creaminess, whereas I'm kind of shying away from this one, although this one has been my favorite for years. So really have been enjoying this powder. If you guys haven't had a chance to try it, try it. I think that you will love it. Okay. These two right here are not the same color. I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat. This is the Laura Mercier um, Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I have really liked this. It isn't super drying, it's right in the middle. I like the coverage of it. This is more along the lines of a really bright summer color that I was wearing last summer. But the texture of it is super light and it just blends out really well, really creamy, really nice. But I think you guys, again, this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I think I like this one better. I think it has a little bit better coverage. It has the same texture. It goes on the same way, that same lightness without being too drying. It goes on that same way. I just think it outperforms the Laura Mercier really well. And again, like I said, we don't have the same colors here, but I think that I like the Flower Beauty one better. For one, it doesn't seem to crease and the Laura Mercier one will crease by the end of the day. The Flower one doesn't crease on me. I've been using the Flower one over and over again. And the other day I pulled this Laura Mercier out one to just, you know, try it because I was doing a little bit more self tanning and it was a little bit more along the lines of the color I needed. But I just thought, wow, I think I really enjoy the Flower one better and it seemed to last longer throughout the day and give me the coverage I need. Another one that I want to mention to you guys, the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer is such a beautiful primer, you guys. It is one that you put it on and it blurs everything and makes everything look so pretty. The way that it feels and what it does on your skin, one of you guys had told me that the NYX Angel Veil is a dupe for it and I do feel like that, it really is. Um, but I don't feel like it's 100% a dupe. The NYX Angel Veil feels a little bit more hydrating to me, which personally I really do like. But if you wanted a 100% dupe but you didn't wanna spend the super heavy price tag, this one is from Mally and it is her perfect prep pipe primer. It is also a little bit more on the expensive side, but it's so much less than, than the hourglass. So I'm going to make sure that I list all three of these for you guys, but this one feels like it is more of an identical dupe to the hourglass one for me. Um, I just really like the way that it blurred out. I loved the way that it filled the pores, but I also love the weightless feel. The Angel Veil feels weightless too, um, don't get me wrong. I feel like these two are really a dupe for this one. But if you liked Mally and you wanted to try it, I feel like it's just a tiny bit more of a dupe than the Angel Veil. Like I said, I feel like the Angel Veil is a little bit more hydrating. For me, that's a plus. But with the Hourglass Mineral Veil, the Mally was a no-brainer dupe. It was just exactly spot on. Okay, the last thing you guys have asked me about over and over again, and I just barely was able to get my hands on it last week, so I've been giving it a really good try. This is what I found, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really love this stuff, you guys, and I have used this and used this, this and it's so nice on the skin, and it blurs those pores so well, and there's a tiny bit of cooling effect when you open it up and when you start working with it. There is a little bit of a there is a little bit of a, a citrus fragrance in it, not too overwhelming or anything, but it does have a little bit of fragrance in it. But you guys kept asking me, is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer the same as the Tatcha one? It doesn't have a scent at all. So that's the first thing. But 
side-by-side -side comparison of the ingredients, um, they might take one ingredient and have it the second ingredient or take another ingredient and have it the first ingredient between the two of these. But the side-by-side -side comparison in the way that it worked up on my face and the way that it felt was absolutely identical. So for me, this is an identical dupe. Yes, it is an identical dupe. Now, what I found more than anything is as I compared those two ingredients, because when I say something's identical, I wanna be able to look at the ingredients and say, okay, yes, it is identical, especially for something like this. So as I looked at them, I even had my son who is really into those kinds of things where he like can analyze products and different things and see how they work. He even looked at it for me and he was like, yeah, mom, their the ingredients are really, really close. And so I was like, this is cool. This is really, really cool because this is something like $56 something like that. I'll make sure I throw it up for you right here. And this is $8. I happened to get my hands on this on a fluke, you guys. I have been on the wait list for this primer for since Christmas time on the e.l.f. website and it's always been out, but I found it at Walmart. I just kept browsing Walmart and seeing if I could find it like every day and it was at my local Walmart. So I like ran and picked it up immediately. So yeah, it's not on the e.l.f. website yet that I know of. I haven't gotten a notification and I haven't found it at Ulta, but I stocked Walmart until I found it. Now I would bet that Elf is working overtime to try and get this back in stock for you guys because it is a hot ticket item. But I wanted to make sure that as soon as I got my hands on it, that I told you guys that yes, this was a dupe and make sure that I brought that to you guys because so many of you were asking and I'm happy to tell you that yes, I feel like it's 100% a dupe for the Tatcha primer. So that's everything for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy seeing the dupes please give it a thumbs up if you did if you're new to the channel please subscribe before you head on out of here and don't forget to hit the little bell so that you guys can be notified of any future videos that i have thank you guys all for spending a bit of your time with me today do you guys know of any dupes that you absolutely love i'd love to hear from you and i might include them in a future dupe video if i get a chance to try them i do appreciate all your well wishes these past few weeks while i'm struggling with while i've been struggling with my health Thank you so much for all of your support and your love. I love you guys all so very much. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.